Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Tap Repair video. In today's episode, we're going to be replacing the battery as well as the trackpad. As you can see here, it's really cracked on this MacBook Pro. Uh, this is going to be a model 1278. This is a late 2011. Uh, if you're looking for any parts or tools you see in this video, such as the battery or the trackpad, trackpad flex cable, uh, you can find those either linked in the description below or on our website, techdep.com. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so flipping the unit over, as most of you guys know on these unibodies, it is actually going to be uh, just a Phillips head screwdriver. That's gonna take the bottom panel screws out instead of the more modern uh, pentalobe. All right, we can lift that bottom panel off and now we're inside the unit. As you can kind of see the full extent of how swollen this guy is, uh, specifically right here. Uh, definitely, definitely time to get this replaced. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and do that today. I'll walk you guys through the whole process in today's video. All right, so the first step in removing the, the battery is gonna be unplugging the actual connector uh, to the logic board here. And we're gonna take a, a Y screwdriver and go ahead and take these off. Uh, the screwdriver can be kind of difficult to find, one that's the right size. Uh, we do have the Tri Y wings available on our website. And there is a hidden third screw uh, right here, right next to the hard drive, or if you've upgraded the SSD. And you can see that battery is actually just popping open right now. Uh, you can actually get a good look in there. And this one is super, super dangerous. So we're gonna go ahead and get this guy in a bucket of sand, make sure it doesn't light on fire or explode. All right, so after safely disposing of the battery, and of course removing the battery from the unit, uh, we now have access to the trackpad. So the first thing we're gonna do is lift the retention bar and unplug the trackpad flex cable and peel it off of the trackpad itself. And now we're gonna take a very small Phillips head, I think this is a P0, and remove uh, the black screws as well as the silver screws that hold the trackpad to the top case. And we have one more screw at the bottom. This is gonna be a T5. This big screw right down here. And now the trackpad is ready to be removed. So we can go ahead and open it and it'll fall right out just like that. So you can see we're replacing it because it cracked uh, due to the pressure of the battery pushing against it. All right, so we've got our brand new part here. Again, if you're looking for these trackpads uh, or the battery you say, see in today's video, uh, they're available at techdep.com or I will link them below in the description. Uh, so there is a specific orientation for this. You'll notice that little uh, nub down here. Uh, it's gonna go right where we took that T5 screw out and these two points here are gonna go on either end of the mounting points on the top case. And of course, our trackpad cable is gonna plug right in here and then the retention bar is gonna close. So we're gonna start by coming in from the bottom here, lining everything up. And the first thing we're gonna do is plug in our flex cable and make sure it's fully seated. As you can see, uh, the dotted line that ran across a uh, section of the flex cable is now fully gone. So we can go ahead and close the retention bar. And we're gonna keep holding it while we close it here. So now we just have to secure the trackpad in place uh, using all the screws we took out. All right, so we're gonna start with the retention brackets uh, at the top side here. Just gonna slot these into place and then I'll go through and screw them on. Perfect, so remember the two black screws are gonna go on the top side, uh, the middle two, and then the two silver ones go on either side. All right, and then on these, I like to go hand tight, uh, not too, too much further or else the trackpad won't have a good feel. It won't click real well. Uh, so you don't wanna go overly tight, just snug or hand tight is all you're looking for. And then again, we're gonna grab the T5 screwdriver 
and go ahead and screw in this large center plug at the bottom. Uh, make sure this one's not too tight or else it will not click. The trackpad just will not click at all. So just like that, hand tight, and that one's good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox our battery. And again, if you're looking for these or the trackpad, we have them in the description below or on our website, techdep.com. Uh, so unlike more modern MacBooks, there are not going to be any adhesive strips or anything you got to worry about on this, just protective covers that we're going to remove. And the battery is going to slide down and lay into place like so. First thing we're going to do is grab our tri-wing again, and then we're going to secure the battery to the top case. Uh, these will bottom out so you don't have to go crazy, crazy tight. Um, but just tight enough that the battery is not loose and flopping around. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and plug in the battery. Take our bottom case and place it back on. And go ahead and secure all the bottom case screws back down. Uh, so the three longest ones are going to be at the top. And then every other screw is gonna be the same length. Uh, so you can put these wherever you like. And there we are, that's our unit reassembled. Now all we have to do is flip it over, plug it in and make sure the battery charges and holds, holds a charge correctly. All right, so we've got our charger here. Let's just go ahead and plug the unit in. It's going to turn green when it makes a good connection and orange when it's charging and the unit already turned on all right that's going to wrap up today's video thank you guys for watching leave a like comment and subscribe remember if you guys are looking for any parts uh, you saw in today's video they're going to be linked in the description or available at our website techdep.com if you're interested in a mail-in repair similar to the repair you saw today uh, also check out the links below or check us out at techdep.com We'll see you guys in the next episode.